when do you rest? <clears throat> when do you recover? Yeah. And I don't want to scare people, but the truth answer is, I don't take any days off. So just because we are not able to work out seven days a week does not mean that David Goggins is lying. Keep in mind that Goggins is a master of his own mind and he has cultivated a routine that works for him. You gotta figure out what works for you. No days. No days. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Well, like, what is a, a normal day? Is at least a seven mile run. Every other day, so about four days a week, um, calisthenics plus gym workout. And every single night I stretch. For at least every night I stretch for at least two hours. Now there are people out there that can work only two or three days a week and accomplish the same amount of success as Goggins, but that's what works for them. A three day a week full body routine will be superior to a six day split. Each of us has to figure out the routine that works for us. Keep in mind that it's not about how much we work, it's about making consistent progress every week without exception. Let me give you one example. This laundromat owner, he makes $3,500 a month in profit. That's probably on top of his salary and he works only one hour in a day. Compare him to someone working in the technology industry. That person is creating products that are changing the world. He still makes roughly the same amount of money and works very long days. If you were to put the technology guy inside a laundromat, he would be completely miserable. And on the other end, the small business owner will have no idea what to do in the technology sector. I work six days a week and I only take one day off. The reason I do it this way is because I have a full-time job. And after that, I take time out every day to work on my content, to work on my business, and to work on my body-related goals. If I was to work on these projects only on my days off, then I will not be able to make anywhere close to the amount of progress that I need to make to accomplish my goals. Sorry, I can't go out. It's a school night, man, you know that. So what does my routine look like six days of the week? I spend at least one hour every day studying health-related literature so I can improve my nutrition, improve my workouts, improve my form because cultivating a great body is my priority right now. I spend at least one hour every day on my business. So that could mean calling people up, that could mean uh, brainstorming ideas, making social media updates, launching a new product. I spend at least one hour every day on my content creation. That would mean uh, recording videos, editing videos, and I spend at least one hour Hour every day without exception. This is something I do seven days a week, um, studying books on leadership, on relationships, on finance, because I believe that the more you know, the more money you're able to make. Turns out that leaders are readers. Bill Gates for decades maintained his famous Think Week, devouring a record 112 books, articles, white papers in that session. We even got Mark Cuban, owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He reads three hours per day. His goal is to find just one idea that he can use to give him and his 150 companies an edge in the marketplace. So it's extremely important for me to increase my knowledge on an ongoing basis. The reason I spend so much time studying and researching is because it keeps me focused. It enables me to make better decisions on an ongoing basis. And most importantly, it helps me overcoming doubts. So I repeat that this is my journey to find my greatness. You gotta figure out what you need to do to find your greatness under the overarching principle that it's not about how much you work, it's about making consistent progress every week without exception until you've accomplished your goals.